Coach's Friday Night Sports Show, presented by Murray Motors of Muncie. It's week five of the high school football season, and this is the Friday Night Sports Show. Alongside AJ Donatoni, I'm Robin Dean, and we've reached the halfway point in the regular season. Yes, Robin. <laughs> it's also the last full day of summer, so oh. we hope you enjoyed the season while you could. Football season, though, that's not going anywhere, and our game of the night to conclude the first half of the year was a great inner district matchup. Our number six team, North Schuylkill, looking to keep its perfect record intact against number 10, Mount Carmel. We pick it up in the second quarter. Red Tornadoes down 7 nothing, but threatening. Tom Reisinger rolls right, evading pressure, and heaves one to the, on the run to Jack Chapman in the end zone. A great play by these two. The PAT is no good at 7-6. But on the ensuing North Schuylkill possession, Jane Livey keeps it on the option and races right up the middle. The quarterback pops off a 71-yard touchdown run. Spartans extend their lead 14-6. Red Tornadoes have the swift answer. John Ayers navigates through traffic and takes the plunge. The two point conversion is good, and this game is tied 14 all. But on the ensuing drive again, it's like deja vu. Wybe on the keeper goes untouched up the middle. It's 48 yards this time, 21 14 Spartans just before the half. And in the third, Spartans able to add some extra cushion. Mitchell Wagner finds the gap, and see ya. A 70 yard score. North Schuylkill still perfect. 33 21. Another crossover. Number four, Jim Thorpe facing independent Midwest. Don't worry, no camera operators were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> Mustangs bringing back the old swinging gate formation early on, and it works here. Mark Piccioni out to Owen Zeckman. He gets blockers in front of them. Nice pick up there, but the Olympians would stop them on that drive and then got the offense going. Roberto Santiago rolls out to Jaron Geisinger and watch the moves that Jaron puts on en route to the end zone. Impressive. Nice. Very nice. 7 0, JT. Then later in the first, the give to CJ Selby wearing number 43 this week. That's a touchdown. Jim Thorpe's shutout streak may be over, but the wins keep coming 55 7. In District 4, our number one team, Southern Columbia, looking to keep rolling against Central Columbia. The Blue Jays class of 1983 on hand to watch. Pretty cool. Opening drive for Central. Jack Schechterly slips through the Southern defense, cuts it to the outside, and the Blue Jays strike first. Extra point no good at 6 0. But steady Southern has the answer. Gage Garcia with a short touchdown run. Tigers take the lead 7 6. But in the second quarter, Tigers trail until quarterback Preston Zachman calls his own number and heads for the promised land. A nice long run. That evens the score at 13 all. Southern strikes again. This time it's Zachman through the air. Finds the one and only Julian Fleming through double coverage. What a play by these two. Southern takes the lead 20 to 13. But Central is battling back. Take a look at this play. The ball is pitched back to Isaac Gensimer. And instead of running, he pulls up. And hits a wide open Eli Morrison. You want Philly Philly? That's yeah, the, let's do it. That's the Central special. Love it. Game tied at 20 now. The Southern maintains composure. Gavin Garcia pops off a nice big run. Tigers end up outscoring the Blue Jays big in the second half and route to a 54 27 win. Then we have the battle for the bridge between neighbors Loyal Sock and Montoursville. Warriors up 14 7, playing some solid defense. Dylan Mole coming up with a big interception there in the third quarter. That sets up a 38 yard field goal from Colin Garini. Always good to see us give some love to the kickers. 17 7 the score. Fourth quarter, watch this play from the Montoursville offense. Hand off to Jackson Delena in motion, and he throws 25 yards to Logan Ott. Very similar to what we just saw. 24 7, Warrior defense took it from there. They down the sock and claim the bridge trophy. A couple of three and one teams going head to head with Bloomsburg and South Williamsport. Early in the first, South gets on the board. Gannon Goreski gets a good block and races into the end zone. A 22 yard run with 6 0 Mountaineers. In the second, check out this play. The pass by AJ Flick is tipped. But Cole Lentz is able to keep his eye on it and comes down with the catch at the 11. That sets this up. Goreski again. He goes for eight yards this time. 12 0 South Williamsport. Bloom finally gets on the board just before half. Jack Howell on the QB keeper, but it's all South Williamsport in this one, 32 7. And one from the Schuylkill League, a good matchup between number five, Tamaqua, and Blue Mountain. Pick it up in the third quarter. The Blue Raiders up 21 0 and preserving the shutout. On fourth down, a great play for Matt Kissler to break up that potential touchdown pass. Ensuing drive, Tamaqua turns that turnover on downs into points. Braden Knobloch on the run. Great diving catch from Nate Boyle and the slide on the wet grass. Then more Knobloch and Boyle. This time way downfield. Boyle another fine grab, and that would lead to this. 
It's Knobloch back to throw again. Jake Barron gets way past the defense. Wide open, easy touchdown. 28 nothing Tamako. Make it 5-for-5 five five on shutouts this year for the Very Blue Very nice. How about that? Every week on the Friday Night Sports Show, we set out to find some of the wildest and craziest fans of high school football. Our cameras spotted them in week five. Yeah, and this week it goes to Dallas, decked out in their best Mountie gear. Love the enthusiasm, especially love the cowbell because we could always use more cowbell here on the Friday Night Sports Show. And the Dallas fans really have a lot to be excited about. The Mountaineers are playing great so far this season. And we'll actually see their highlights coming up in a bit. And I got a fever. And the only prescription. It's more cowbell. Possibly Advil and some cab <laughs> cowbell. Still to come on the Friday. I ruined that line. Still to come on the Friday Night Sports Show. Dallas, we just saw the yeah. fans. Can they continue their hot start? The Mountaineers trying to close out the first half of the season with an unblemished record, but a tall order for them against Wyoming Valley West. Those highlights are next. Hi, we're the Wyoming A cheerleaders, and you're watching the Friday Night Sports Show. Woo! Yeah! 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 Yeah!